and it's just been pouring down rain all night and this morning. But like such a huge difference in the desert to come across these washes and just see how full of life they are right now. It's so cool and it smells so nice. I walked up here and I was like, ah, so fresh. Okay, so I want you to see how big these cactus are compared to me. Are we seeing this? Massive. What's this? You get to watch me struggle with this. I've already pricked myself like four times and these, can you lay down for me please? Um, this thing, ah, oh, the needles have, they have like little barb, no, 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 don't, don't, yeah, don't hook with that. I'm gonna get it. They've got little barbs on the end that hook, and, uh, they've gotten, I've got a few of them stuck in my freaking fingers, and, uh, yeah, they're a pain, so I'm gonna try to find a stick to see if I can get that out. Man, they still hurt after you pull them out. Oh my god, it's stinging. Stay right there, don't move. Oh, these things are no joke. Let's see if I can. So I don't know if I this will focus on it. And these just fall off and get stuck on their fur. It hurts even after you get it out. Yeah. So if you notice, all the little ones. All right. So I am carrying with me this cacti remover to help remove those from fur or my pants because uh, Rogue got one and then shook her paw and when she did her paw hit my leg and then it stabbed into my pants so I've got this now and I'm just going to carry it with me so that we can easily
and get out behind this Jeep. I'm in position. We're waiting for the uh, the go ahead. But Allie is also ready. Allie, can you read me? They want to go and play. I want to take this bus over 55. Then we'll be on our way. I wish I knew that whole song to carry on a little bit more. <laughs> oh. Do you want to hit the 60s? Maybe up to 65. <laughs> After you die. All right, I'm getting ready to pull her out. the exact same issue. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. this, is, this is fuel line. It's made to hold, like, 60 PSI. Yeah. So, it's all good. Um, but I'm going to give you this. And if that diaphragm ever blows up, instead of taking all of that shit off, just take this hose off, unscrew that thing, and put the plug right there. Oh, okay. And then you won't be losing turbo. Alright. Cool. 
The wastegate actuator had a boost leak in it, as well as the hose going to it had a hole in it. So the other shop decided to replace that with the wrong one that was too long. So we took that off, cut it in half, threaded the ends of the shaft, put a coupler on, put that back in place, re-ran a new hose, and now everything's good. <laughs> all the power you're going to get. Mm -hmm. So the next Fuel. step um, is, is to increase RPM. Okay, right. So that you can have a higher top speed. Yeah. Um, which is a mechanical fuel injection thing. So it's it's you need all these special tools and bullshit to do it. Yeah. So that's beyond me. Mm -hmm. But your turbo is good. Yes. And you'll get up to your 52 miles an hour a lot faster. Oh, that was a good catch. That was a good catch. Oh, all right, all right. Oh, look at look at this. <laughs> that was good. Uh, it's a pretty, pretty impressive. You like my form? Form, yeah. Bitch. It's okay. <laughs> you good? You good? Okay. All right. We'll we'll leave. We'll we'll go. So much fun we're having. We're uh, we're still waiting. It's 1:11, and we got what time, Wigan? 9:30. 9:30. We're told three hours. We were told three hours. Yeah, 9:30. It's 1:11. Hello. How's it going? Fine, you? Not too bad, it's almost quitting time. Oh, well, that's always nice. All right. So that's the total for today. Okay. Ran through, got the linkage all adjusted up. It's hitting the stops, check for air, the return, fuel, none there. Everything checks out good, wastegate looks good. So they were able to get a little bit more travel out of that throttle cable. Mm hmm And uh, put some lubrication down in there. Okay. So even the throttle pedal uh -huh. response feels a lot better. Okay, that's so good. They're, they're pretty confident that, uh, that that's what it was. I guess we'll find out here in a few minutes, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so what was the, if it isn't this, what was the other thing? Or? Well, we basically have to go into the valve cover, start looking at um, overhead adjustments and all that. Mm -hmm. Make sure everything's good there. See, like I said, it did have a little stumble. Mm hmm. 
you just basically have to go back in and start going after that pump, I guess, at that point. Oh, yeah. So hopefully not. Hopefully not. Hopefully this is it. <laughs> Fingers are crossed so hard. Like, come on. Hopefully this is... So that would be a total of 700 and something that I've spent. Uh, first chunk was just... Like, I, I, I want to go back to that guy. As, oh yeah, that was freaking... Well, like, the amount of shit talking that other guy was doing about schoolies and stuff like that, mm -hmm. too. I was just, like, looking at him like, hello? <laughs> You know, and he was like, oh, no, you, though, it's different. I'm like, yeah, because I'm right in front of you, probably. But that's probably the only reason. <coughs> so, um, update. Uh, we left the mechanics, um, and they didn't test drive it. I don't know if it's because of the, like, the fact that it was technically a diagnostic day or what the reason was so the test drive was us driving it on the highway back to our original camp spot uh, it's about a 40 minute drive but we were going to take the highway so we got to really find out if it was working or not um it does like feel like it has a little bit more power but um it wouldn't get above Top speed, 2100 RPMs, 48 to 50 miles an hour. I'm really frustrated, honestly, and I'm just trying to gather myself before I go out and hang out with everybody. I want to try to have a decent time hanging out with everybody tonight, but um, I think Aubrey's more pissed than I am, and uh, maybe it's just because I haven't processed it yet, I don't know. But, uh, Aubrey is ready to call them back, like, first thing in the morning, I think. And, uh... Well, thank goodness for Aubrey, because I'm having a hard time, like, um... I don't know what I feel right now besides, like, just a little frustration, honestly. It's just been, you know, AAA bus being, like, not... frustrated um they can fix it and he didn't act like he even wanted to help me try to fix it he just said his resolution was he said go get some fuel injector cleaner and you know not interested in all in like trying to help figure out what was going on and just like determined that he was correct about the issue and it's not like I was gonna make that up why would I but whatever I didn't like the attitude there and the fact that he wasn't really willing to like problem-solve and let me bring it back in to like you know so we went with Empire and it seems a lot more professional and everything um, but they didn't test drive it we did it didn't work so yeah, I guess we're gonna call in the morning because it was pretty much closing time pretty close to it by the time we left <coughs> so I'll update you whenever uh, we call and see what the next plan is because it's if I can't get above 50 miles an hour that's not safe for me to be driving to Reno so I'll catch up with you later Let's do the butterfly. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, this little thing? Mm-hmm, this little thing. Yeah. You gonna help dig, Rogue? Good girl, Rogie. Get in there.
Aubrey and I ended up getting a hold of them again, taking the bus back up there um, to get credited for the amount that they charged because they were pretty sure it was going to fix and it didn't fix it. Did just call back yesterday with an estimate, um, which was a very emotional day for me. 